As you see here, I have a parody design of Stranger Things, and we're going to add a glow effect in Photoshop. Right now, this is clean vector that I created in Illustrator. And one thing to point out is I added this tiny little black stroke. That's just something I do, and I'll show you later why I do it. So let's go ahead and select this and copy. And now we'll flip to Photoshop. And now I'm going to paste as pixels and hit return. Now, as you see, I have a layer of black below here. But also, if we look in the image size, you see that it is full size at 300 DPI. I'm just going to go up to Layer, Layer Style, Outer Glow. Now it helps to get in here really close. And then I'm going to click on the color and select a red like this. And then I'm going to adjust the spread and now the actual size. And this, when you pull this back and forth, you want to just kind of eye how much of a glow you want around your letters. So I'm going to settle for it about right here and hit OK. And now I'm going to flatten the image. Now whip out the DT Prep plugin. I'm going to keep everything we see right here. Enable the color knockout. Click and then just measure this solid black inside here and hit OK and now run. Now, if you're not at the default that we have here, go ahead and click default. And now if we get here really close, we can see these halftones going on. So we'll look at the original, what it looks like on a black shirt, and then the alpha, which will be the DTF transfer. We've got this nice, clean, even halftone all the way around these letters. And the reason why I added that black stroke around my letters is I want that to be dark there. That gives a little contrast to the glow. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And now it's time to export this out. Quick export as PNG, save and send to the DTF printer.